this this meeting isn't so much a full explanation right of the course it's just because when i first meet with the parents officially i'll go into more of the details of how things will go this is just to answer any questions that you have about whatever changes or particular circumstances in in your home okay well, why don't we just say uh, a quick hail mary asking our ladies intercession uh, in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. blessed mother we turn to you always seeking your intercession and also with you the intercession of our patroness saint dorothy hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, uh, I just want to begin by making a, a few statements about uh, this course that may answer some questions that you already have. Quiero empezar diciendo algunas cosas acerca de este curso para contestar algunas preguntas que ustedes tienen. So, for those of you who are already doing some type of at-home catechesis. Para, para ustedes que ya están haciendo algún tipo de catequesis en casa. And you're happy with your current program. Y están contentos con su programa corriente. You don't have to use this one. No tienen que usar este. Right. Again, so, so this is just the one that we are offering. Este es el, este nada más es el que nosotros estamos ofreciendo. Again, the, the test that we are going to administer to your children when they're ready for a sacrament. El examen que le vamos a dar a sus hijos cuando estén listos para recibir un sacramento. Right. You know, you'll have, you'll have more or less access to, to that information. We'll give you access to that information. Ustedes van a tener acceso a, a la información que va a estar en el examen. Uh, also, uh, to, to, to be involved in our program, you have to be registered here at our parish. También para, para estar involucrados con nuestro programa, tienen que estar registrados con nuestra parroquia. Right. This has to do with, with canon law and how uh, authority works between parishes and priests. Esto tiene que ver con la ley de la, de la iglesia y cómo la autoridad funciona con las parroquias y los sacerdotes. So, so that's, that's required. Um, so those who are, or like in the past, I've just allowed people to do catechesis at home. Um, en el pasado, he, he dejado que nada más hagan catequises en casa para los que quieren hacer catequises en casa. Right, on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, y eso es dependiendo de cada caso diferente. Right, but from now on, they're still going to, ha they're going to have to register for, you know, officially with the program. Pero de ahora en adelante tienen que registrarse oficialmente con el programa. Right. Even though they don't have to use these books. Aunque no tengan que usar estos libros. Right. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to, you have to register to be a part of the program. Entonces, es nada más registrarse para ser parte del programa. Right, right. We need to know who's in our program doing fourth faith formation at our parish. Yeah, así ellos saben quién está haciendo catequesis en casa si es que no lo están haciendo por parte del programa. Right. Entonces, así para, para los que están enseñando a la escuela desde casa o están enseñando el catequesis en casa, también pueden venir a las charlas que va a ofrecer el, el, el padre. Right, and I'll, re I'll repeat that for those who are zooming in. So, again, for those who are doing catechesis at home or, or homeschooling at home, anybody from the parish, any adults from the parish are welcome to come and listen to my catechesis lessons to the parents. So it's, it's not going to be restricted, per se. Yeah. And, and so, if you want to listen to Father's lessons, you might want to have the parent guide so that you know what we are covering that or that month actually right. um, I, I think it would be an advantage to have the book you know. and then it's up to you in regards to an activity book right. to go along with the lesson that father is doing. Right. so it, it's a good idea then to again have the books if you're going to be doing that regularly just 
help you follow along with my lessons. Entonces, aunque aunque estemos dando catequesis en casa, es buena idea tener los libros que ofrece la parroquia también para estar al corriente con lo que están enseñando ellos también. So, uh, any any opening opening uh, salvoes? Any any uh, any questions? Preguntas. Good, so everybody's happy. So that's that's a good question. So um, the question is, again, I'm going to repeat for, for the Zoom meeting, are the activity books all the same? So the, 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 teach, the parent teaching book and the activity book for the kids, they're all the same, but in those books are all the materials you'll, you'll need for the different age groups, right? So there are going to be simple coloring exercises for the little kids that, you know, the the 13 and 14 year olds are not going to be interested in. So, uh, and then, uh, uh, you want to sure. just kind of flip through and yeah. so there, there, are, you know, more mature question and answer activities and, uh, and Bible study activities. And, uh, um, you know, of course it's all rooted in the scriptures, but, um, but there's all different levels of, activities and games and even things like you know suggestions for uh um outdoor activity you know um trips and things mm -hmm. field trips field trips there we go that's the word yeah. um so this is the activity book okay and it's a bilingual activity book okay yeah it, it and it suggests like this is for age approximately blah 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 but you as a parent know your kids the best, so you know what activity would work well. And um, like for October, for October, it, it kind of focuses in on, um, they, they have a saint per month. So St. Francis of Assisi, Francisco, the um, creation and <laughs> what you can do on the Sabbath, what you shouldn't be doing on the Sabbath, you know, circle what is appropriate to be doing on the Sabbath, you know. And so it's children having fun and, you know, playing with the dog. And then you've got somebody with a mask, not, not these kind of masks, <laughs> welding mask, work and work and work. That's not appropriate. Anyway, so I think, help me out here, because this is all new for us. Right. The, the nice thing about these activity books that we'll be using. Lo bonito de los libros de actividad que vamos a estar usando. Again, is that they're bilingual. Es que son bilingües. So each activity. Cada actividad. Is going to be in English and Spanish. Va a estar en inglés y en español. Right, so Spanish Thanks. and English. And, um, and that way, even if you don't speak English or Spanish. <laughs> yes, si, si es que no habla ni inglés ni español. Right, for a lot of these activities, you can still do them. Para, para muchas, on inglés o español, algunas de las actividades, muchas de las actividades todavía se pueden hacer. So you have at least two copies of everything. Entonces van a tener dos copias de cada cosa. Now the, um, the, the parent book is either in English or Spanish. El libro de los papás es, right. está en, yeah. o en inglés o en español. Um, one of the one of the things we can help put together for you. Algunas de las cosas que nosotros podemos um, juntar para ustedes. Are extra potential activities. Son actividades extras potenciales right. que se pueden hacer. We have uh, <laughs> we have uh, families that have been doing at home catechesis for years and years. Tenemos familias que han estado haciendo catequesis en casas por años y años. Right, and they've got you know, whole lists of things that they have done. Y tienen listas de cosas que han hecho. Right, so there are, you know, a lot of great options Muchas out there. Buenas opciones. I'm sure Pinterest has a lot of things you could do too, right? Y también Pinterest puede tener muchas cosas. Is that how Pinterest works? I don't even know what Pinterest is really. Well, we'll be supplying some know. Catholic websites too. Yeah. To, um, some Catholic with a C websites to, uh, for you to look at if you have... Yeah. interest in other things yeah they'll they'll on our website we'll have a lot of connections to other websites that can help support you give you more information 
Um, and again, as I, I, did I, I don't know if I, did I mention last week? I may, I think I mentioned last week. Um, mencioné la semana pasada. That our catechists, que nuestros catequistas, right, will in a sense be on call. Van a estar, um, like, like be ready, like listos para, para, para darles right. instrucción, para ayudarles. Right, to answer your questions. Para to, contestar sus preguntas. Right, so if you're, if you're struggling with something with one of your children. Entonces, si es que están batallando con algún tema con sus hijos. Whether it's an activity or a lesson. Ya sea una lección o una actividad. Right, then you can call that catechist appropriate for that, that grade. Entonces, le pueden llamar al catequista apro apropiado para ese grado. Um, are the books going to have a cost? Okay, so what is the, the it's $35 per child, $100 cap per, per okay. family? Yeah. Right, so the, the, the cost is included in registration. El, el costo está incluido en la registración. Right. So it's $35 per child. $35 por niño. And then $100 cap per family. Y $100 máximo por familia. Right. That and also includes the parent guide. Right, so that's that's the activity book, that's the parent guide. Um, that's also uh, things that we'll provide here at the church, like activities for the kids and, and various other things. Y eso incluye el libro de actividad y el libro del papá y las actividades que hagan aquí en la iglesia. Because I, I want to continue to still have activities, you know, regularly for the kids here at the parish. Quiero continuar teniendo actividades regularmente para los niños aquí en la parroquia. But those will be optional. Pero esos serán opcionales. <laughs> yeah, so Georgina's eighth grade confirmation class, we're still actually going to have, right? We're she wants to do it. Out. We're going to finish it. The kids want it. She wants it. It'll work out easier for those seventh graders going into eighth grade. Um, so, so it'll meet here Wednesday, Wednesday nights? Yes. Wednesday nights. 7 to 8.30. It'll just remain yeah. the same time. Um, and Georgina will finish out the year with her kids. Okay. And it also applies to the atrium if you have yes. a child that is in the catechesis of the Good Shepherd program. Okay, <clears throat> if they were in that program last year and they have not aged out, they can remain in that class. Debbie still plans on giving the catechesis program. Entonces, la clase de catequesis de la señorita Georgina. Uh -huh, Georgina. Y este, el, la clase del, del buen pastor. También siguen, siguen en pie, van, los van a seguir teniendo aquí. Sí, sí, yes, yes. Between the masses. Es el mismo. It's the same. So the Good Shepherd program, it will be the same. No changes there. Are they going to prepare for first communion in the, in the house? I, I think her child just had his first communion. Oh, okay. She's just wanting to know how oh. how how to go along with the okay. catechesis. Okay. Is does the lesson plan? So, so then, so then he's going to you as a mama, and then hopefully a papa. <laughs> and this is yeah. This is the other thing we want to emphasize. We don't. Want why don't Why don't I? Time. I'll take this. Okay. So so right. So a child. Your child has received their first Holy Communion. It's going to be several years before they receive confirmation. Si sus niños han recibido la primera comunión, van a ser varios años hasta que reciban la confirmación. Right. Now, again, the responsibility is yours as parents to continue to teach them the faith. Entonces sigue siendo la responsabilidad de nosotros como papás para seguir enseñando la fe. You want to continue, you know, year by year to be educating them. Debemos continuar año por año. Um, because the, the test to pass for confirmation is going to be quite difficult. Right, so if you wait to teach them only in the you know, eighth grade to get, catch them up, Entonces, si se espera nada más hasta el octavo grado para enseñarles, right. it's, it's unlikely unless they're very, very smart that they'll be ready. Es, es, va a ser muy difícil solamente que sean muy, muy, muy inteligentes para que estén listos. Right. So, so the, the, obviously the desire is just to slowly educate them in these things, you know, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. Entonces la meta es educarlos lentamente, 
todos estos años hasta que lleguen al sexto, séptimo, octavo grado. Right. And it could be possible that they receive confirmation in seventh grade because they're ready. Y es, hasta es posible que reciban la confirmación en el séptimo grado si es que están listos. Right. So that all depends on the child and, and on your teaching. Entonces eso depende en el niño y en su enseñanza. Now, again, I, I'm not going to be checking up on you. Entonces, yo, yo no voy a estar checándolos. So if, if you're not going to teach your kids at home, third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade. Entonces, si ustedes no le enseñan a sus hijos tercer, cuarto, quinto y sexto grado. That's your problem. Ese va a ser, va a ser su culpa. Va a ser su... Right. And when you bring them in to be tested for confirmation. Y cuando los traigan a ser um, examinados para su confirmación. If they don't pass. Si ellos no pasan. I shouldn't feel bad. Yo no me voy a sentir <laughs> Right? You know, that, that's not on me. Porque eso no está en mí. Right, because again, I'll, I'll do everything I can to help you teach your kids. Porque yo voy a hacer todo lo que yo pueda para, en, para enseñarles a, su, a sus hijos. En, ayudarles a ustedes, enseñarles a sus hijos. Now, I do want to, I do want to maybe get a, in, in a, I don't want to put you on the spot, but are, are you interested in sharing a little bit about your experience teaching faith at home? Um, well, here, here, I'll start it off if you have anything to add. Actually, the lady right next to me is just have been? I've been starting, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Starting. So wait, if this you have year. anything too. Okay, so, so again, most parents who are new to this Entonces, todos los papás, casi todos los papás que son nuevos en esto, can be very nervous. Pueden estar muy nerviosos. Right, they're like, I'm not smart enough. Pueden decir, yo no soy lo suficiente inteligente. I don't know the faith well enough. Yo no conozco la fe lo suficiente. Okay. And so I just want to um, uh, alleviate some of your fears. Entonces nada más quiero... I don't know. Apaciguar algunas de sus, de sus dudas o, o miedos. Right. Okay. You're not smart enough. No son lo suficiente inteligentes. <laughs> right. You don't know the faith well enough. Y no conocen la fe lo suficiente. That's okay. Y eso está bien. It's okay. Está bien. Nobody does. Nadie lo hace. Right? Everybody is at a different place, different level. Todos estamos en un diferente lugar y a un, a un, en un diferente nivel. Right. You are. Ustedes. Your children are. Sus niños. Right. That's why we have the books. Por eso tenemos a los libros. That's why we'll have the websites por to eso, help out. Por eso tenemos los sitios web. That's why the catechists you will be able to call. Y por eso tenemos a los catequistas. Right, so there'll be a lot of support. Entonces hay mucho apoyo. Right, and what's helpful and good for you parents. Y lo que nos ayuda a nosotros como papás. Right, is that it'll help you grow. Es que también nos ayudará a crecer. Right, it'll help you grow in your faith. Nos ayudará a crecer en nuestra fe. Nothing teaches a person better than teaching somebody else. Nada le enseña mejor a una persona a enseñar, aprender más que enseñar también. It was a tricky, wasn't it? So, well done. <laughs> um, so, so don't be, don't be worried. Entonces no se preocupen. Yeah, um, again, it, it'll be just fine. Que todo va a estar bien. And you'll find that your children learn things that you didn't even teach them. Y van a encontrar que sus hijos van a saber cosas que, que nosotros ni les enseñamos. Right. They'll learn according to their capacity. Ellos van a aprender de acuerdo a su capacidad. Right. Some are very, very bright. Porque algunos son muy, muy, muy inteligentes. And you'll just teach them what you know. Y ustedes, nosotros nada más les vamos a enseñar lo que nosotros sabemos. But they'll, they'll learn even more. Pero ellos quizá aprendan aún más. Right. See? Despite you. A pesar de todo. Right. So don't, don't worry. Uh, another thing about teaching at home Otra cosa de enseñar en casa is you'll, you'll find that, uh, for example, teaching your children their prayers. Es, van a encontrar que quizá al enseñarles a los niños right. sus oraciones. It's really easy. Es muy fácil. Right. You just integrate the prayers into your daily life. Solo hay que integrar las oraciones a nuestras vidas cotidianas. Right. You know, you pray a decade of the rosary with them every day. Por ejemplo, rezar una década del rosario todos los días. Then they have it memorized. Y ellos solitos los van a memorizar. Right. You know, you, you, you just say the act of contrition. Solo hay que uh, decir el acto de contrición. Right. Every night before bed. Cada noche antes de, antes de dormir. They'll memorize it easily. Y ellos lo van a memorizar. Right? And you'll memorize it. Yes, <laughs> nosotros lo vamos a memorizar. Okay. So I will tell you one of, one of the things I've, I've learned. 
Entonces yo les diré que algunas de las cosas que yo he aprendido. Right, that makes it difficult for people to go to confession. Que le hace difícil a la gente ir a confesión. Is because they don't have their act of contrition memorized. Es porque no se han memorizado su acta de, conf- de contrición. Right, they, they get nervous. Sí, y se ponen nerviosos. They say, oh, I, I don't remember my prayers. Y dicen, no, yo no, yo no me acuerdo de mis oraciones. Well, well, of course, I, I keep the cards in there in English and Spanish. Entonces yo tengo las tarjetitas allá adentro en inglés y en español. But it's still not that big a deal. Pero aún así yeah. no es no es de tan gran importancia. Right, going to confession is is more important than whether you have it memorized or not. Ir a la confesión es más importante que si ustedes la tienen memorizada o no. But mem- teaching your children to memorize it is quite easy. Pero enseñarles a sus hijos a memorizarlos es muy fácil. Right, and you'll you'll find you'll just integrate that into your daily life. Y van a encontrar que lo van a ir integrando. A su vida cotidiana. Also, some of the activities you can do with your kids. También algunos de las actividades que podemos hacer con nuestros hijos. And this is what my mother and father used to do. Y esto es lo que mi, mi madre y mi padre hacían antes. They were, they were integrated into our dinner time. Es que se integran a la, a la hora de la cena. Right, so, so if it was an Advent activity. Entonces, si era una actividad de Adviento. Right, we would begin dinner with that little activity. Comenzaríamos la cena con esa actividad. Right, now obviously the little kids enjoyed it more. <laughs> Obviamente los niños más chiquitos lo disfrutaban right. más. Right, but all of us got something from it. Pero todos, todos obtuvimos algo de, de eso. Right. You want to add anything? I would just, there's a bunch of things here that um, this for a long time at home, and that's mm-hmm. how we learned our faith. I would say that that's how my husband and I learned our faith and having Christ in the center of our home is what makes us. And that's our hope is that this learning your faith doesn't become part of a pie chart. Like it isn't time. Okay, now it's time to learn about Jesus. No, this is, this is your life. Christ is the center of your life. That's what we're aiming for is that this becomes um, every day, part of every day. Not, not just a little, you know, okay, 10 minutes for Jesus today. Right. Does that make sense? It, and it, it, again, it can seem daunting at first, but it transforms you. Puede, ser, puede aparentar difícil al principio, pero esto nos va a transformar. Right, and even within a year. Y hasta dentro de un año. You will look back. Van a mirar atrás. Right, and you will say, wow, I, I'm so... I'm so much more comfortable with my faith. Imagine five years. Imagínense en cinco años. Right. Ten years. Diez años. It'll change everything. Eso cambiará todo. Right. And imagine your relationship with your children. Imagínense su, su, la relación que tienen con sus hijos. Right. With your spouse. Con sus esposos. It'll all improve. Todo va a mejorar. God is so happy with his families come together. Right, we've been only technically talking about the practical, but spiritual graces available, the saints, the angels, the Holy Spirit, who are there with you, you know, and, you know, empowering you and working with you. That's, it's profound. It is. Yeah. I, I remember something uh, Pope, uh, Pope John the 23rd, I believe, used to say uh, after his night prayers before bed. So he would, he would say his night prayers and then he would, um, you know, lay down and he would say this to God before going to sleep. Um, me acuerdo de algo que dijo el Papa. Uh, uh, Pope John the 23rd. Uh, el Papa Juan uh, 23rd, right. que decía antes de dormirse. Right, uh, he would say, God, Él diría, Dios, um, I may be the Pope of the Catholic Church, Yo seré el Papa de la, de la Iglesia Católica, right. but I'm just a man. Pero solo soy un hombre. It's your church. Es tu iglesia. I'm going to bed. Me voy a dormir. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
and even as parents, sometimes you'll do your best. Y aún así como papás, vamos a hacer lo mejor. Right, and even if that's not good enough, y aunque no sea lo suficiente bueno, right? you just give it to God. Se lo, se lo, entreguenselo a Dios. Right, well, well, Jesus can take your water and turn it into wine. Y Jesús tomará su agua y lo convertirá en vino. Right, so you just serve him the best that you can. Solo sirvanle lo mejor que ustedes puedan. He does the rest. Y él, y él hará lo demás. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you, thank you. So one of the things I I cannot insist on enough. Una de las cosas que no puedo insistir lo suficiente. Right, is that the fathers have to be involved. Es que los padres tienen que estar involucrados. Um, now, ladies. Ahora, señoras. Uh, you know, if you're Husbands simply refuse to participate. Si sus esposas, si sus esposos simplemente se niegan a participar. You know, teach the faith to your children. Enseñen en la fe a sus hijos. Right, and pray for your sinful husband. Y rueguen por su esposo pecador. <laughs> right, but, um, you know, it, it, it's it's more important that the father teach the faith. Pero es más importante que el padre enseñe la fe. Than the mother. Que la madre. It's actually more important. Es más importante. In fact, all of the studies show. De hecho, todos los estudios enseñan. Right. That when the father teaches something to his children. Que cuando el padre le enseña algo a sus hijos. They are far more likely to keep doing it the rest of their life. Son mucho más probables de seguir haciéndolo todos, toda su vida. Than if it was taught to them by their mothers. Que si fuese enseñado por la madre. That's that's the power of a father's influence. Ese es el poder de, de la influencia de un padre. Right. And and for us fathers, that gives us a great responsibility. Y para los padres eso da mucha responsabilidad. Now that doesn't mean that, you know, in your homes, each parent is going to be doing the exact same catechetical work. Y eso no quiere decir que en sus hogares uh, los dos padres van a estar haciendo exactamente el mismo trabajo catequético. Right. Now my my dad, you know, worked full time. My mom was able to stay at home. Por ejemplo, mi, mi, mi padre trabajaba tiempo completo y mi madre tuvo la dicha de quedarse en casa. But my dad worked anywhere, sometimes 60 to 80 hours a week. Pero mi papá trabajaba 60, 80 horas por, por semana. So he wasn't really doing the catechetical lessons during the week. Entonces él técnicamente no estaba dando las lecciones catequéticas right. durante, la, durante la semana. But whenever he was home with us, Pero cuando él estaba en casa con nosotros, he would always pray with us. Él siempre oraba con nosotros. And then on Sundays, y los domingos, he would go over our catechetical lessons with us. Él revisaba nuestros, nuestras lecciones catequéticas. Right. And, you know, so it was, it was at least that you know, he could at least do that. Entonces, por lo menos, él hizo eso. Yeah, and I, I have very strong memories of it. Y yo tengo memorias muy fuertes, muy, muy poderosas. Eso. So yes, it, it wasn't as much time as my mom was spending on catechesis. Entonces, sí, no fue el mismo tiempo que, que tomó mi madre con el catequesis. But it was, I would say, just as impactful. Pero yo diría que fue yeah. igualmente impactante. So for the um, lessons that I will teach the parents each month. Entonces para las lecciones que yo voy a darle a los padres cada mes. Right, the children will, will not attend those meetings. Los niños no atenderán esas juntas. But we will have activities in the hall and in the classrooms for your children during those meetings. Pero tendremos actividades en los salones y en las, en las salas para sus hijos. Right, so there, there's no excuse not to, for mom and dad to come. Entonces no hay excusa <laughs> para que mamá y papá no vengan. Right. Unless, of course, you're at work or something. Solo que estén trabajando, claro. Right, but, you know, ideally, you know, you would bring your kids, they would do activities, you would be learning. Pero idealmente trae, traerán a sus hijos, ellos harán actividades atrás y, no, y nosotros estaremos aprendiendo. But you, you can't sneak your kids into the lesson just expecting me to teach them. <laughs> Pero no pueden traer a sus, a sus hijos a las lecciones esperando a que yo les enseñe. Right. So, uh, again, I said this before also when, if you call the catechists. También si le llaman a los catequistas. You have to call the catechist as the parent. Tú le tienes que llamar al catequista como el padre. Right, you can't have your kids do it. No hagan que los niños lo hagan. Right, because 
you are the teacher of your kids. Porque ustedes son los, los, los maestros de sus hijos. Yes. Yeah, so the, the parent meeting will uh, be a part of the regular monthly schedule, like you said, first Sunday of every month or second Sunday of every month. So it'll, it'll be consistent. Las juntas van a ser consistentes, van a tener un horario este, regular. And we'll have two, we'll have two a month because we'll, we'll still have to split up like the, the second through fifth graders and the sixth through it, you know, eighth graders. So what we'll do is, um, let's say hypothetically, you know, it's on the, the first Sunday and the, the first Wednesday of the month, we'll have those two, I'll give those two lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Los cursos van a estar divididos entre dos grupos, los de segundo a quinto grado y los de sexto para arriba. Y por ejemplo, digamos que una, una clase va a ser el primer domingo y la otra clase sería el segundo miércoles. Ellos, ellos les van a dejar saber el horario. Yes. You only need to come to one of those meetings. Pero nada más tienen que venir a una de esas. So technically they'll be the same meeting. Entonces, van a ser la misma junta. But I, I, I will of course focus, you know, uh, they will be slightly different just because of the, the, the age groups of the Serán children. Un poquito diferente solamente por la, la diferencia en edades. In other words, if you have children, if the, if the majority of your children are in grade level one through five, we're hoping you'll come on a Sunday. And for example, si este sus hijos sus hijos están entre las edades de uno a cinco, estábamos esperando que vinieran el domingo. Right. If you have older children in the grade six through eight, y si we're tienen, hoping you'll come on Wednesday. Y si tienen hijos de las edades seis, um, perdón, grado grado seis para arriba. Este entonces que vinieran los miércoles. But, but don't worry if, if you have kids in both grade groups. Either one will work for you. Pero no se preocupen si yeah. tienen hijos en, en los dos niveles, porque cualquiera de las, de las clases les servirá. How would they know which catechist they have oh. to call, or would it be the same one as last? Right. So, right. I'll give. I'll, we'll give you a list of catechists associated with each grade. Le dará una lista de catequistas asociados con cada grado. Right. Which speak Spanish. You know, which don't. ¿Cuál habla en inglés y cuáles no? Right, and you'll be able to simply refer to the list and then call that appropriate catechist. Yes, it's simplemente ser, este, yeah. pueden mirar a, a la lista y llamar al catequista que ocupan. But I, I will be strict about um, requiring you to call the catechist associated with that grade. Pero sí voy a ser estricto en, en requerir, requerirles que llamen al catequista asociado con el grado de su hijo. Right, because the, the, the reason... La razón is because oftentimes we can be comfortable with one person over another. Es porque muchas veces nos podemos poner cómodos con llamarle nada más a una sola persona. Right, and I understand that. Y yo entiendo eso. But that will overwhelm certain catechists. Pero eso lo hará muy difícil para ciertos catequistas. Right, so, so we can't do that. Entonces no podemos hacer no. eso. Also, I was just thinking, although I lost my train of thought, um, talking about catechists and calling them. That's gone. I've wanted to bring this up several times and now I can't remember again. Yes. Um, she has a niece that is going to be entering into seventh grade. She can't come to those classes. Um, so actually that's, that's good. I was thinking of bringing that up. Uh, for older children, such as, you know, seventh and eighth graders may who maybe who have been away from the church for a while. Para niños más grandes, quizá de séptimo a octavo grado, que no han estado en la iglesia por bastante tiempo. They can attend RCIA with me. Ellos pueden atender la clase de RCIA con, con el padre. Right, and that, that's, I can teach that for the sake of any sacraments that they need. Y, y ellos pueden atender eso para poder tomar cualquier sacramento que necesitan. Now we on Friday. No. 
Are you RCA on Fridays? But at the rectory. At the rectory. Yes, RCA will be start next month on Fridays in the evening. En la clase de RCA. RCIA. RCIA empezará el viernes. In, at, at the rectory at my house. In la casa del padre. Yeah. Okay. I seven fifteen. Como a las siete quince. Seven fifteen. Hmm? Next month. Next month. El próximo mes. Yes. Um, I I really want to encourage you to consider you know keeping your children involved in our youth activities uh, quisiera pedirles que que consideren dejar que a los niños se involucren en las actividades right. so we're planning to start that right away and eso va a empezar muy pronto um now again that doesn't mean we're taking role eso no quiere decir que vamos a a pasar lista. Right. But the reason we would need you to sign up with your intention Pero la razón que necesitamos que se, que se apunten con sus intenciones is because in order to have a program, we need to know roughly how many kids will be coming. Es que para tener el programa necesitamos saber como cuántos niños van a venir. Right. Otherwise, it just won't work. En porque de, algún, de otra manera no va a funcionar. Now again, I, I can't recommend it enough for your children. Entonces, no lo puedo recomendar lo suficiente because it'll give them time to spend with other Catholics their age. Very important. I think, um, I just want to make sure that there's no confusion that the lessons that you're teaching um, at home are the, uh, the, the root of, of what you need to be covering this year and that when the children come here whether it's Sundays or Wednesdays and they would like to participate in an event it will this will not be a lesson okay um as well Jean has left oh, as Jean was saying before it, Catholicism there used to be a Catholic world that we lived in no more um so I here I just want to give you like an, an example okay it's like for october okay so october what we have right now is that on the fourth which is a sunday and the seventh which is a wednesday father would be giving the the lesson for october okay and your children come and we will have activities for them in the back here in the classrooms and it this depends on how many kids sign up come and what their ages are we're gonna to have to cluster them appropriate to the age levels that they're at right and so if father is teaching on the fourth to the parents well the fourth is the feast of saint francis of assisi so the lessons that no, i don't want i have to get away from that word lessons i have to get into activity will be something to do with saint francis of assisi and creation and the fall and the colors of the leaves i mean depending on the ages of the children now, on the 7th, which is a Wednesday night, Father will be, be presenting the lesson for October to the Wednesday night people. Those children that come with you that night, most of them, most of them will be older. So that is a feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. October 7th is the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. So what would we be teaching them? Stop saying teaching. <laughs> what will we be sharing with them? We will be sharing with them the beauty of the rosary. Maybe the older kids, the Battle of Lepanto, and how the rosary was so important in that, okay? Um, then we go, you know, respect life. October is also respect life. So we'll be talking to them about respect life. So we're just kind of taking a big lasso and throwing it around everything Catholic and presenting it as much as we can to the kids. And having them say, oh, I didn't know that, or yeah, I didn't realize that, or okay does that does that make sense like does that help i hope so father does that help okay 
Here, you it expands to cover every element of your life. Yes. Does this start in October then? Well, it starts in September. Father's teaching the what third week of September is what we have planned right now. So the, the 16th and the 20th are the planned dates for Father right. to start teaching. That weekend, we assume that all the parents will be there, so we'll have more kids there that weekend or end weekday. So and then the following week, the 23rd and the 27th. Father won't be teaching, but we still plan on having activities. So we hope that the kids will come back. Mass will be back at 9 a.m. on Sunday, so there will be time in between the masses. And then Wednesday night, the 8th graders have to be here. But we want the 6th and 7th graders to come back as well so that they can do an activity. It will be more fun. It, although they're going to be learning, it's not going to be teaching. It's going to be fun. We are integrating music and games and other activities as well to make sure that they're not getting the same lesson at home that they are here. They're having fun and enjoying these activities with each other rather than sitting in a classroom listening to the teacher lecture them for an hour and a half. Well, I, I need to go get ready for mass. I'll let you guys handle this now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let me give you a, a, a just a quick lesson before I go. The Lord be with you. With the Almighty God bless you. May he turn his face toward you and give you peace. He who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, um, nada más para repasar lo que Ms. Meg estaba platicando. Un ejemplo que les vamos a dar es el mes de octubre. El mes de octubre es... Um, Respeto a la vida, ¿ok? Um, nada más para que ustedes tengan una idea, para que no estén confusos en, en lo que estamos tratando de hacer. El primer, la, uh, una, la lección va a ser octubre 4, que el padre va a dar a ustedes como padres. Ese día, um, ustedes traen a sus niños y nosotros, uh, los catequistas, vamos a tener actividades para sus niños ese día. Ellos van a estar en las clases. Ahora, ese día, uh, nosotros como catequistas solo vamos a estar aquí para actividades, para suplementar lo que ustedes ya están enseñando en sus casas. Um, el 4 de octubre es la fiesta de San Francisco de Assisi. Ahora, ese día vamos a hacer actividades con los niños sobre eso. Um, el 7 de octubre, que sería la segunda lección que el padre dé para los padres que tienen niños en los grados sexto, séptimo y octavo. Si, si traen a sus niños, ese día es la fiesta de la señor, ah, Nuestra Señora del Rosario. Ahora, ese día estaríamos um, platicando con sus niños sobre el Rosario y cómo fue importante en nuestra historia como católicos, ¿ok? Um, nosotros no vamos a estar enseñando cuando ustedes traigan a sus niños, pero vamos a estar les, um, haciendo actividades para suplementar lo que ustedes ya están enseñando en casa y nada más para abrirles a ellos la, la, la mentalidad de que hay mucho más um, de que ellos puedan aprender. Cuando ustedes traigan a sus niños, nosotros hacemos actividades para que ellos uh, se diviertan y puedan convivir con otros niños católicos de sus edades. Ok. Gracias. <laughs> ¿Tienen algunas preguntas? Questions, anybody? For me, other John. When does the Good Shepherd class start? It would start the same as okay. the 16th. First, the first time the Father teaches will be the first time that the catechesis on Sunday. On Sunday. Entonces, la primera lección para los padres sería el 16 de septiembre y um, todos los padres estarían con el padre y los niños estarán aquí. Empiezan las clases de, de Buen Pastor. Deadline for registration. 
I didn't know that. Yep. So we'll take it for the next two Sundays after today. Deadline is the 13th of September. Okay. Um, vamos a tomar registraciones empezando hoy hasta el 13 de septiembre. Okay. Um, with registration, if you do not have a capitalist Bible at home, please put that on your registration form. En sus registraciones, si no tienen una Biblia católica, que sea católica, en casa, por favor pongan eso en la forma de registración. We will provide a Catholic Bible. Y nosotros vamos a proveer el, uh, la Biblia católica. If you're in need of a catechism, y si necesita un catecismo, they're $10 and we will get those for you as well. Um, va a ser un costo de $10 dólares y nosotros se los hacemos llegar. Is it the little white one? Yes. Yeah. Sí, ese es el blanco. Mm -hmm. Sí. Did we go over I think it's next. So this Catholic Kids Connect sign. Um, este nuevo um, diseño de niños católicos. Um, this is what we'll have in the bulletin in our website to make sure that you are aware of the kids activities that will be happening on Sunday and Wednesday. Um, va a estar en el boletín y en el sitio de web para que ustedes estén informados de lo que va a pasar cada domingo con los niños de actividades. So we're going to try to integrate that in more often so it, it keeps you guys informed of what we have going on. Y lo vamos a tratar de integrar um, lo más que podemos para que ustedes estén lo más informados que puedan. Any other questions or concerns or? Algunas preguntas. So we'll be here after the Spanish Mass. If you want to register, we'll be here. Because I know right now it's what, five of, ten of? Yeah. You, want, you need to go Tien, to Misa, so. Tiene pregunta? No, esa parte, sí, es, es um, diez dólares adicional. Mm -hmm. That's for the catechism. Mm -hmm. All right. okay. Vamos a estar aquí después de la misa español. Yo sé que muchos tienen que ir a misa. Um, uh, vamos a seguir registrando. Así que si tienen alguna otra pregunta, vamos a estar aquí disponibles, ¿ok? Muchas gracias. Thank you.